Coming in now. Recording that roadcaster. Back up. Yeah. Right, hi Alex, how are you doing, mate? I'm good, thanks. How you doing? Yeah, good. Um, so I, I suppose we'll, we'll just sort of start. So first of all, thank you for sponsoring the Midlands Nines. Um, I see. You, I think I really think your brand aligns perfectly with ours. To be honest with you, so um, you produce mouth guards with crazy designs, absolutely excellent designs. Um, just talk me a bit about how the business came about and, and sort of your background and. Would be a good place to start, I think. Yeah, sure. No, I'd lo love to. Um, I mean, it's all started about 18 months ago. Um, and I just had this, like a creative urge to try and, you know, create something. You know, I love I love sports. I'm into lots of different sports. Um, never Could never play rugby. You know, too, too small and weak for rugby, but... You know, always, always appreciated it. You know, done other other sports. I've worn plenty of mouth guards in my time. Um, and also, what struck me is that they're all pretty boring. You know, even the big brands are pretty boring. Um, and I've always really loved uh, like like skateboard type brands, like you know Santa Cruz, some of that, some of those types of brands. Those yeah. have got you know very artwork driven because I you know I, I like art you know i'm a relatively arty person i guess and i kind of really appreciate those those designs and i saw you know the opportunity to create something that i myself would like you know that i wanted to wear that i could get excited about um and what i wanted to do is, is create something you know that makes people feel good because if you feel good if you look good and you feel good then you're going to perform at your at your best that's the old um, uh, nfl motto isn't it that Look yeah. good, feel good, play good. Yeah, I, I think I think it's true. Um, and also, you know, I wanted to create something that made people stand out as well. I don't I don't want to do something actually. You know, I never wanted to create something with Bloodshot that was for everybody. That was for the masses. I wanted to be for people that actually wanted to be a bit different. And I think what you said about yeah, yeah. our brands aligning, you know, with. Um, I think that's exactly it. You know, it's kind of quite, it's quite quirky. You're not trying to appeal to the masses. You're trying to sort of stay true to kind of what you, what you like and what you enjoy. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of how it all came about. Alex, what, what you know, the, the mouth guard, manufacturer of mouth guards, what is some, what are some parts of it that, that people wouldn't necessarily understand? I mean, is it, has it been a tough challenge to get it, get it up and running? Yeah, I mean the the start, the research phase was pretty tough because I think I bought probably every mouth guard on the market. Like yeah. you looked at the instructions, molded them, all that kind of stuff, all the problems that you have. Um, read all the reviews on Amazon, all those things. You know, they're all saying you know they're uncomfortable, they're too bulky and big. You know, they make you gag. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I remember cutting my mouth down. I remember cutting it down as a kid, like, you know, because it just didn't yeah, fit scissors. in mouth. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Same. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So our, ours, are, ours are kind of are much smaller because they're not meant to. A mouth guard is not meant to touch your wisdom teeth, despite what people mm -hmm. think. It's not meant to. All the protection is is covering, you know, just your just your front teeth and perhaps your first molar. No, nothing more than that is needed. Um, so ours are smaller. They're also gel lined in the in in inside so that makes them comfortable they're not bulky and then you can get a good fit so that when you open your mouth so if you're running anything we need to do heavy breathing the mouth guard stays in place that's that's crucial like it's not falling out the first time you you open your mouth to gasp for, for breath um so like a huge amount of time you know i probably spent six months before i kind of found you know uh, uh, you know mouth guard materials and 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 shape and style that, that i thought was was good enough to be honest because i wanted to create something that that was excellent you know that people would love um otherwise it's just a fancy design it's all style no substance and and really that's what it's all about you know something that looks good but also performs at the highest level um and in the early days, we we had bare knuckle boxes using it, and still I've still got bare knuckle boxes using it now. That, that contacted me saying, 
you know, we're using your mouth guard and think it's great. That, that blew me away at that early stage in the business. That yeah. people, were, people like that were using it because I, there's no tougher test than sort of being punched in the mouth with, with a bare <laughs> fist. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just talking about the actual design, then you've got a you've got a number of sort of funky design. I've, I've got one. I've got one here in front of me. I'll just uh, do the old un unboxing like they do on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, the actual designs. And if you can see that on camera, we will overlay some footage. Um, did you design them yourself then, or have you, did you get a designer in to do it? Uh, a mixture like that one you've got there. That's that's the first. That's one of the first ones I did. So I, I drew that on on my iPad with All using right. Procreate, and then got it converted into a design file. So some of them I've actually designed and created myself from scratch. Others I've had some help with, and probably as we as we grow um, and try and be more professional, I'll probably have to step away more and more from the design because you know i'm not a professional artist i'm just a, a talented amateur at best you know um i won't put yourself so down look, mate I think, I think the i think the design is absolutely brilliant it's really it's really unique i love it absolutely love it yeah thank thank you uh so how many designs have you got currently available on the website at the minute um we've got five one is, I think one's sold out at the moment. Yeah, good problem to have. Um, we just yeah, we just launched the fifth, which is the razor blade red. So that's that's the razor yeah, blade design. Um, and we've got sixth coming imminently, probably in the next week or so. Um, Pit Viper Pink, which is like a snake type design. Um, it's on brand with us as well. <laughs> yeah, well yeah the, the 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 colors will match kind of perfectly actually the sort of pur purple and pink so um yeah, yeah that will definitely be on brand and yeah and you know planning to release new designs throughout the course of the year they, they must be quite popular with the, the kids as well alex are they is that something that you've kind of directed the sales at a little bit or is it more adults i mean I didn't really know when I started, I didn't really know who would like them. I didn't know if anyone would like them. Um, it just seems to have happened that, yeah, a few groups have, have kind of sort of, they've been popular with a few different groups. Um, so yeah, kids and kids rugby, um, like big, bigger kids because they're, I think sort of, I think they're aimed at 12 plus. I think smaller kids can wear them because they're not, they're not big mouth guards. So they yeah. can they can fit small mouths, um, but also like I said, some of the other contact sports like um, bare knuckle boxing and stuff like that. Some of them picked up on it. Even even BMXs are, are wearing them. So the amount of different people I've been contacted by um, across all different types of, of sports, but um, it's been very popular with with rugby players as well. A lot of the feedback I've had and people that have got in touch has been has been rugby, which is which is which is great because that means people are buying them fitting them and they're you know they're able to run around for a full game of rugby without mouth guards like falling out getting lost all that kind of stuff yeah perfect so alex uh we're looking forward to seeing you at the midlands nines you're gonna have a, a stall there uh yeah. everything's gonna be available to purchase um if anybody wants to buy one beforehand where where can they find your website where can they find uh bloodshot sports <clears throat> um it's www.bloodshotsports.com um, and you can buy all of our designs that are in stock you can buy them straight from that website you can also search bloodshot mouthguard on on amazon and you'll find it on there um and yeah if you do just just tag us on instagram we like we love to see our stuff being used used and abused so yeah can't can't wait for this event very excited about it it's a big deal for us um and yeah, we'll be there to support and and you know spectator and very proud partner. Alex, will you be on your own? Or are you going to have a, a someone else with you or a small team? I will have my uh, partner and wife with me as well. She'll be she'll be helping manning the manning the store. Maybe maybe another helper as well. I'm not sure yet. And whereabouts are you, Alex? Now, where do you live? Uh, Essex. Right. Which is yeah, I would have loved to be there. 
I'd love to be there in the studio with you today, but um, yeah, I think it was about a three and a half, four hour drive, which I couldn't, yeah. quite, couldn't quite manage on a Tuesday night. Well, we'll um, we'll definitely see you at the festival anyway, <laughs> mate. We'll, don't worry, we'll be there with cameras. That's what let's say. That'll be our uh, that'll be our job for the day. So we'll we'll definitely get you on, and we'll, we'll have you know we'll have a chat with you while while you're there at the event as well, mate. Awesome, awesome, great! I can't wait. Really excited. Cheers, mate. I think I'll. Uh... Yeah, yeah, call it a day. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, Alex. Um, what we're going to do? We're going to shoot a bit of footage of the mouth guards and stuff like that. And when we play this out next week, uh, we'll overlay the footage of the mouth guards and stuff like that and make it look all all nice and fancy. Is there anything else you wanted to get across? Or no, that's it. I feel like I've rambled on quite a lot actually. So uh, I think I think that's about it. <laughs> No, nah, we're good, mate. It's uh, nice to put a, a face to your voice as well. Uh, right. Yes, um, like I said, we you know, we do appreciate you supporting the event, and um, yeah, ho- hopefully it can be a uh, something that 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 grows from this. You know, as, as we get bigger and as you get bigger, yeah. hopefully, you know, we can keep working together. I like, I really like the idea of that, and that I kind of like the fact it was the first one, and that I could kind of be part of it from the start because you know I know what it's like to start something and and like when you get support when you're starting something it means it means a lot so yeah cheers, not, you know bloodshot's very very new itself but i'm still trying to any of the goodwill i get you know try and pay it forward so you know i, and I thought this is a great great fit yeah perfect um i said the tournament's going well to be honest with you mate um we got like i say we've got teams coming from all over the place so <laughs> uh, you know, I think we you, you should get some decent exposure from it. I would have thought, yeah. definitely. Yeah, all, all, all I'm seeing is like new teams being signed up and stuff like that. It sounds like you've got a real spread of different types of teams. Um, yeah, and what we've also got, which which you, you don't see on the, on the social media site, so we're, we're having a, a meet and greet at the festival as well. So. We've basically invited all the chairmen from different clubs around the Midlands and things like that. So even if they don't have a team competing, um, they're like chairman or club representatives are going to be there anyway. So there's even more people that, you, that the, the yeah. brand's going to be exposed to, really. Yeah, and that, that's what we want. Ideally, I'd, I want to start kind of supplying directly to teams. Um, and I've had a few people reach out about that already, and I was almost wasn't quite ready for it because I didn't really know what to say when they're asking about prices and how much yeah. and I was like I hadn't really thought about that but that that's probably the next step for us is trying to be you know just get out there with with, with the, the, the teams yeah definitely yeah sounds good mate right we're gonna uh, we're gonna wrap up because it's uh it gets getting a bit it's getting a bit late but no it's been great to speak to you um Likewise. we'll We'll send you a bit of a sort of an info pack out in the next couple of weeks, um, just about what time to arrive and set up and that sort of thing, um, okay. and, a, and a schedule of the day as well. Um, you know what time the rugby's happening, what time the music's happening. I imagine by the time we get to the music, you'll just want to kick back and enjoy yourself. So, yeah, probably. Yeah, I think the full on day by that point. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get out to you next week or so, mate. Okay. Alex, just final thing as well. If if you could just, I think when when you end this, it'll prompt you to leave your browser open, um, and there's like it's done a separate recording on your side, and then we can mix the two recordings together for a better better experience. So if you can just let that upload okay. before you shut it down properly, it'll give sure. you the instructions. Sure. Anyway. Okay. All awesome. right. All right. Nice to speak.